Okay, good afternoon guys! So, we're up and running, we're live. Yes, so hopefully you're hearing me right now. Today, we will be doing your review schedules, we will be doing your review plans. I'm Coach Jason, I'm from Spark Review Center, so you're hearing me right now. And we will be doing this free webinar on how to create your review schedules and your review plan. If you are watching this live, we have, a, we have a chat box down below. You can participate in our discussions if you have some questions or if you want to raise some suggestions, then you can type it in the chat box and I will try my best to answer them from time to time. I'll be looking into the chat box just like this. So as you can see, we have chat box like this. So we can, uh, we can discuss uh, some things that you want to uh, ask about our session for today. So, we will be discussing lots of things. And this webinar is one of the most important webinar that we have for this coaching session. Okay, So, you do know that we are doing lots of coaching sessions already since December. And uh, this is the fourth coaching session already. This is the fourth coaching session that is free. And this is the most important one. And I argued why this is the most important because this will be your foundation on the things that you will be doing for the rest of your days before the board exam. Okay, And I always mention in the coaching sessions that you need to do your review every day and 
this scheduling, this planning that we will be doing today will be the one that dictates the success that you will be uh, doing for the rest of the season up until October, okay? So listen very well, follow the instructions, follow the suggestions, reflect on your situation, whether the, the things that we'll be talking about today is applicable to you, how can you customize this scheduling depending on your needs, and we will be dealing with that today. I will be walking you through the steps, through the process in this review planning and scheduling webinar, okay? So, uh, these are the things that we will be discussing for today. So, first, I will uh, give some tips about learning needs assessment. And then we will do uh, the table of specification. I will show you the table of specification and do some discussions about it. So that you will be guided on uh, what to prepare in your review schedule, in the layout of the topics that you will review day to day, okay? And then we will have a plan of attack for each one of you depending on your case, depending on your needs. And we will show you a template of the 200-day review plan or if you will be doing this on a 100-day review plan, I have a template wherein you can use Later on, if you will be scheduling your review, it will be very easy to use this template, okay? But first, you need to listen very well how we were able to do this. I will actually show you how I did this template because probably some of you may have a different needs. So uh, you need to know the process, okay? And I will show you in this webinar how we did this, how you can do this also based on your needs, okay? Now, uh, regarding learning needs assessment, you cannot start a review process such as this if you don't know your learning needs. And uh, even in your I.O. site classes, you have uh, uh, the training needs assessment. If you will be doing a certain training and workshop with your employees, you need the training needs assessment. Same with you guys. If you will be doing your review, you also need to have a learning needs assessment. Because if you don't have any learning needs, then you don't need to, to review. Okay, I mean, if you don't have any learning needs, why, why, the, why the heck we will be spending our resources, time, and effort in reviewing? Okay, so definitely you have a learning needs. And, um, and, the, uh, and the practical way to do it I will show you later on, but I want to raise this very important uh, existential question regarding diagnostic exams. Are diagnostic exams really useful? Okay, uh, most of the time review centers are actually administering diagnostic exams, but but here here at Spark, we we stopped doing diagnostic exams. I think last two thousand fifteen. We, we're not administering diagnostic exams simply because the outcome of diagnostic exams will only show these two things, okay? And if you will take a diagnostic exam today, okay, and if you did not do any review yet, okay, you take a diagnostic exams, and I will 100% guess that most of you will fail and all the topics are hard. Okay, what we did uh, in the past uh, 2013 and 2014, we, we did that item analysis of all the diagnostic exams that the students took with us. And we have uh, uh, thousands of questions, thousands of participants in this. And what we found out is we cannot pinpoint which topic are hard for them. Okay, because we, we, we want to know the learning needs, right? So definitely, we want to know what are the gaps, which topics are difficult for them. And what we found out in the item analysis is almost all the topics are difficult. And majority of them also failed the board exam. Okay? So what, 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 what does the diagnostic exam tell us? It's, it's not giving us any insight at all. Okay? So it all boils down, it all goes down to what are your specific needs? What do you really need? 
Okay? And my practical suggestion, the practical step that we are doing at Spark is actually this. I let the student browse the table of contents of their books. Or in, in our live session, uh, in our live session, uh, what we did is we, we administer a survey wherein the, the topics are actually there. And, and then later on, we, uh, I, I told you we have a 200-day and 100-day template. It's actually a topic suggestion. That's a topic list already. You can see that later on. But a uh, practical suggestion is you get a book. For example, uh, uh, I'll show you one. Uh, for example, this one. This is uh, what you're seeing right now is Theories of Personality by Feist. Okay, so this is the table of contents, as you can see. So you browse this. And then you reflect. Do I know or do I have a deep understanding already about Freud, psychoanalysis? Do I have already a deep understanding of, uh, of uh, Carl Jung, for example? Uh, Saan na ba yun? Uh, so, balik lang natin siya sa table of contents. Bayan. So, so, you check all the contents in your book and reflect. Do I really know this? Am I fooling myself? M minsan kasi, ah, alam ko na yan. Pero, do you really know this? I mean, students lie, okay? Reality bites, and I know some of you already received my email coaching. One of the things that I told you is that students most of the time lie. And they don't tell the truth about their learning. Okay? So, guys, reflect tonight. Check your books. Browse the table of contents and see. Do you really understand this? Or were you able to, uh, to really do this uh, topics during your undergrad? Kasi, minsan yung mga professors, yung sa unang part lang ng libro ang natatapos. For example, dito. Puro kay Freud lang, puro psychodynamic lang. Hindi na nila natatapos yung sa mga bandang dulo. Is that your situation? Is that the same with, with psych assessment, for example? Or with IO psychology, for example? So it's, it's you actually who can guess or who can really give a, a good estimation of whether you know these topics or not. And that's my practical suggestion. And then also, you check the glossary part of the book. Okay, so after the table of contents, di ba sa likod may, may uh, glossary? Okay, sa glossary, nan, or nandun lahat ng terminologies and concepts that are discussed in the book. You browse all of them, and most of the time, the glossary is alphabetical, right? So you browse all the glossary and check, am I familiar with this? Is this familiar with me? Is this something discussed from during our undergrad? Alam ko ba to? Is this new to me? You are the one who can tell that very well. And do that tonight or tomorrow if you have time. Because this is the practical way to check your learning needs. Okay? And then another practical suggestion is probably right now you are already watching some of the videos that uh, we give to you in the free review program. And as you can see in the in the free uh in in your student portal this one so uh let's uh this is your student portal right you know this and uh in in the left side portion you have topics like in theories of personality as you can see right now here so let's just uh zoom it yeah oh yeah so you can see this topics here even abside you have topics here okay you check do you know these topics? Do you have deep understanding already of these topics? You can actually rate it from 1 to 10. For example, am I familiar with behaviorist perspective already? From scale of 1 to 10, how familiar, how confident are you in these topics? Okay. So you need to have an inventory of all the learning needs, all the topics that you find very difficult. And that's one of the bases that we will be using later on when you schedule your own customized review schedule okay so that's very important uh introduction of this uh 
creating review plan because we cannot proceed in any scheduling or planning if you don't know your needs okay and i'm giving you a practical suggestion very fast and less anxiety provoking okay some of the students that we have in the past told us that the diagnostic exams are anxiety provoking for them okay well in a positive way that's that's okay because if you are actually disturbed and you feel uncomfortable that's actually a signal for you to have something for a change you need to do something to change that but sometimes it 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 prevents the student to move forward because na masyadong heavy sa kanila I mean, uh, lahat bagsak, lahat ng topics may irap, okay? But definitely, you can actually customize and have a deeper insight of what you really need during this review by doing this practical suggestion, okay? Sounds great, right? So, so let's proceed with the table of specification, okay? And a while ago, you know your learning needs already, but we also need to align the things that you will study based on the table of specification. The table of specification is the criteria for the board members of psychology on how they will craft the exam. Okay, So every year they are creating test questions and they are using the table of specification to make sure that the quality of the exams are, well, are great. So... This is the table of specification for psychometricians. I hope you're seeing this clearly in your screens. I will try to zoom this, or, or maybe not, uh, so that you can see the totality of the slides. So this is available in, uh, in TAP website. So this is the link. So before doing any review, you need to download and check this table of specification. So that you'll be able to know what are the breakdown of topics, what are the percentages, where should I focus on each of the subjects. So, I'll explain to you each of the table of specifications. So, in abnormal psychology, this is for psychometrician, by the way. So, as you can see, you have 100 items here. That's 100 items. And the breakdown is this. So, you have five outcomes here. Um, I'll just hide my my face for uh, for a minute. Okay, so you have uh, five topics in abnormal psychology or five breakdowns, and as you can see, that the heaviest weight here is thirty percent on the outcome number three, and the outcome number three is about using psychological theories in explaining a problem. So you can see we're talking about abnormal psychology here. But the, the bulk of the topics or the bulk of the question, that's 30 items, by the way, are about psychological theories, the foundations on how you explain a certain psychopathological uh, concern or signs and symptoms. So uh, theories of personality is actually very, very important because even in abscit, the bulk of your questions are actually how to explain the signs and symptoms and less of the actual DSM-5 criteria and all of those things. Because most of the students in abnormal psychology, they feel that they need to memorize the DSM-5. Some of the students are even trying to read the DSM-5 first, which is I definitely not recommend. Do not jump into DSM-5 when doing your review. Just use your handouts or your, your textbooks or better yet, you watch our videos, it will be more easier for you to grasp, okay? Because the DSM-5 is not actually the bulk of your test. So you can see the bulk is still on how to explain why. Bakit may signs and symptoms in the first place? What's the theoretical framework to explain that? And then the other bulk is the 20% on distinguishing between normal and pathological behavior. So it all... Uh, it tells us about the the models of, of uh, abnormal abnormality. Okay, if you're if you can still remember the four Ds. Okay, and then uh, of course the common psychological disorders with their specific symptoms. The totality of all the disorders are just twenty percent. Imagine that. 
if if this table of specifications are really to to be followed okay if you will be if if the board members hopefully of course they follow this judiciously the totality of the site disorders are just 20 percent then the, the other 30 percent is about how to explain it using a theory and then to distinguish normal and abnormal behavior using 20% uh, probably in a case study format. I'm not sure how they will be able to do it this year. And then you also have a social cultural factor and also uh, ethical principles. So the ethics are not just in the psych assessment. The ethics will appear in all of the subjects. Okay. So remember that because in the table of specification, even in abstract, it's given 15%. Okay. So, how about in I.O. psychology? This is for uh, psychometricians. So, as you can see, these are the topics, okay? So, you need to uh, have the understanding about employee selection, training and development, performance management and evaluation. So, so basically, if you, can, if you will see the, the, the weight, it's almost equal to each other. And uh, our uh, our free videos, by the way, covers everything. Okay, so our review program, even the free review program that you are in right now, covers everything because we adapt it in a way that it will cover the table of specifications very well, even the mock exams. Okay, and if you will be upgrading in any of our programs, then you will receive more videos and even our book, the review book, that will make you understand all of this more easily okay now in theories of personality as you can see there are only whoo three outcomes and it focuses on the theory itself okay and as you can see the theories of personality is the the, the, the foundation of the other subjects okay abside even have theories as the bulk of their uh questions the bulk of the questions is about theories I.O. is an applied psychology and it uses theories as well, especially in motivation, in leadership, in stress management. There are theories, okay? And, the, and, and some of the theories of personality, like uh, the, the Big Five uh, by Isenck and uh, I, with Costa and McRae, uh, the dispositional theories, the trade theories, it's also being used in recruitment and selection, okay? Even in assessment. So very important for you guys to start your review. Ako, I do suggest you start your review with theories of personality. And later on, you will see in the 200-day and even in the 100-day template that I will be showing to you, the, the, the largest chunk of topics that you need to do, the task, is actually in TOP. Because there's a lot of theories that you need to read. Okay, So these are the outcome. And as you can see, the indigenous part, the, the this one, the Sikoloyang Filipino part is 10%. But despite it's just 10%, there are questions okay, that's appearing in the board exam. And during the past two years, students are actually telling us that the table of specification that you are seeing right now is actually being followed. Okay, at least you know, that's a good that's a good uh, that's a good observation from the students actually that they tell that at least the board exam somehow is already trying to follow the table of specification. So, Sikuloyang Filipino will definitely appear in the board exam. So, please uh, give some attention to it. We have a video for that. We have three, three videos from three different people here at Spark for Sikuloyang Filipino. That's how comprehensive our review is. You can watch that in our free uh, video. Uh, in the student portal. In psych assessment, these are the outcomes. So, uh, yeah. So, ito lang siya. Ito, ito yung kanya. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, there are six outcomes here. And pretty balanced when it comes to the weighting. So, ibig sabihin, all of this should be given focus. So, you have the measurement of your psych psychological process. There are even research methods, the foundations, the, st the statistical foundations that you need to know so that to understand the concepts when it comes to reliability, validity, how norming is being done. All of that, all of those things are covered here in the, in the table specification. Okay? You even have this. 
identify and assess, uh, nakikita nyo ba to? Identify, evaluate methods of psych assessment relative to this context, school, hospital, industrial, even community setting. So it, it actually talks about the specific tests. Okay, for example, interest tests, saan ba siya mas, mas, mas ginagamit? Or, or IQ test, intelligence test, saan ba siya mas madalas ginagamit? Okay, or uh, personality test, what specific uh, scenario will you use a personality test? Do you even need that during hiring? What specific jobs or KSAO needs certain evaluation? What All of those things are covered here in the table of specification. Okay? And of course, ethical principles. Okay, So right now, you need to accept the fact that all subjects will be talking about ethics. That's why if you will be doing your review and if you plan your review schedule, you always need to account ethics in all of the subjects, in for in, in those four subjects, okay? Don't forget to study ethics. If you don't have a book, uh, you, you can actually upgrade to, to our uh, review program. We, have, we can give you the book wherein these are covered. Or you can actually search the net and you research. No, That will take time, but you can actually do some uh, research on how ethics is being applied on, this of the, on each of the subjects, okay? Now, another one is uh, let me see mm -hmm. about that? okay so we're talking about the weights the board exam subject weights and as you can see psych assessment is the bulk of your items in the board exam remember psych assessment is 150 items so row row score wise it's already given a premium already the TOP, RSAC, and IO is just 100 items. As you can see here, all of those are 100 items. Psych assessment is given 150. And the weight of that is 40%. Double of, almost double of the other subjects. So you need to account for that, okay? Uh, now, uh, most of the time, students are asking, Paano po kinocompute to? Uh... Is it on the 150 times 0.4? Ganun ba siya? For example, I have, um, for example, my score is 110 out of 150 in psych assessment. Do I multiply the 0.4 in the 110? Or do I multiply the 0.4 in the percentage of the correct items that I have? The answer there is the correct items, okay? The percentage of correct items. So if you have 110, so let's just do some math here. If you have 110 as your score in psych assessment divided by 150, that's 0.73, okay? That's 0.73 times 0.4. So your uh, computed score for psych assessment is 0.29. And then if you have, uh, if you scored 78 out of 100 in theories of personality, that's 0 0.78 times 0 0.2, your weighted computed score is 0 0.156. So if you continue the process, you'll be able to get a list of scores where if you add up, it will total to, to 100. And whether you have 75 as a cutoff score or not is depending on your performance. Okay, so that's how this is being computed. Okay, so uh, I need to show you this so that you'll be guided when you schedule your review, when you lay out the topics that you will study. At least, alam niyo ano ang mga importanting bagay na kailangan niyo tignan sa table of specification. Okay, now. We are now on the plan of attack. And I know there are lots of you who have different concerns or case scenarios. So I'll be trying I'll try to cover all cases that I know uh, most of you are encountering. For example, for fresh grad students, I know you have plenty of time. If you are a fresh grad student, good. You have plenty of time. And probably your knowledge about this topic is still intact. It's still fresh, and I'm 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 being positive here. I mean, 
uh, you should be still fresh when it comes to this knowledge, right? But uh, admittedly, some of you may tell na, Sir, kasi nung second year pa namin tinake yan, eh, nung third year pa namin tinake yan, medyo nakalimutan ko na. And that's why we're doing the review, right? That's why practically you can just browse the, the table of contents of your book, check your perceived understanding of these topics, and start doing your review ASAP, right? You have plenty of time, but don't be complacent. Yun ang problema sa fresh grad eh. Kala nila, okay, marami pa akong oras. And at the same time, hindi naman ako nagtatrabaho eh. So marami akong oras. And at the same time, the knowledge in my head is still fresh. So I need, I don't need to hassle myself. Now that's being complacent and it's an ingredient for you to fail. Okay? If you are complacent, you will fail. That's why you need to do your review every day. Okay? And at the same time, your previous study habits may actually not work, especially the bad ones. Okay, That's why right now, I'm doing this coaching with you guys because I want you to realize that you need to harbor the right review habits for you to be successful in this. Okay, It's not enough that, okay, I have a review program. I will do some review. I will do some reading. Okay, But your habits are actually not working for you because you're procrastinating. You're not doing your review every day. You're being complacent. You are cramming. You are marathoning all the topics that you need to study. So your previous study habits may actually not work for you. And that's why I'm doing this coaching. Ever since December, we already did lots of coaching with you guys. This is the fourth one already. And all of those things are actually geared towards crafting you the right review habits, the right mindset, so that you will move forward in this review. And after this free review program, this free coaching, this is the fourth one, there will be other coaching sessions uh, to come, especially on how to, to improve your memory, how to do time management, how to have that self-confidence, how to uh, not procrastinate, how to have laser sharp focus, okay? Not to be distracted on the things that any shiny objects around you, you're not distracted because you have a laser sharp focus, how to execute your review plan, all of those things, you need those review habits in you, right? And I'm here as your coach to, to guide you, to follow up on you, and uh, if you're watching right now in this free review program, this is the fourth one. And hopefully, we'll be able to work on the, on the other coaching sessions if you upgrade, of course, with some of our uh, uh, upgrade plans, which is very affordable, by the way. Later on, you will be able to see that. Now, if you are a retaker, these are your concerns, okay? So, uh, you have a first-hand experience of the board exam, and that's good, okay? That's very, very good. But the problem is you may not have the, the right mindset or the right emotions, okay? That's why I always suggest to the students that if you are not convinced that you can do this, then don't do the review at all. If you are a retaker, and if you are not convinced that you can do this, do not do your review. Okay? Because if your emotion is an emotion wherein it's filled of uh, feelings of failure, feelings of regret, all those depressing kinds and self, uh, uh, self-loathing kinds of emotion and thinking in you, Remember, your information plus emotion is the long-term memory. And if your emotion is not the right emotion, if your mindset is in not in the right mindset, then how can your information become a long-term memory? That's a problem. Okay? So, before you schedule all those topics, reflect first if you are really 100% into this. Okay? And I'm doing this coaching to you guys. Because I want to help you, especially those retakers who are listening right now. I'm giving you some hope. I'm giving you guidance 
because I know you can do this. This is just decimal points away in passing, okay? okay? Remember that. You are just decimal, uh, decimal points away from passing. And that's why you need to convince yourself that you can do this, okay? You may also have work experience that's very useful, okay? So to think about things that are positive in you. You have first-hand experience in the board exam. You have work experience already, already for this board exam. And also with your work experience, these are all helpful for you guys so that you will pass the board exam, okay? And lastly, you also reflect what could be something that's not working in the past that I need to change this year, okay? So reflect on what did not work from previous study habits, okay? So that when you schedule the, the, the topics that you will study later on, you know what to tweak. You know what to change and improve in your study habits in the past, in the in the layout of topics that you're studying in the past, okay? And because you have first-hand experience in the board exam, you know already the topics that you really feel very difficult because you, you, you saw it in the board exam, you know this already. Now, another challenge are those who are working. So if you're a retailer and you're also working, this is really a challenge. You need to reflect on your schedules, okay? Is your work something compatible with you doing the review. Baka mamaya on-call kayo and you're on-call almost every day of the week. So how can you schedule your review? So you need to really, you really need to uh, take that into consideration and see which of your days or schedule you can squeeze in at least one or two hours of review. Okay? And also very important is actually not only for the working people but also for everyone to inform others that you are doing the review. Because if you inform others that you are reviewing, then they will also be alerted and at least no, uh, most of them will give certain consideration. For example, most of the employers are actually considerate of their uh, employees who are doing the review because they know that this is for their professional development and they know that the company will also uh, benefit if their employee will be successful in taking the board exam. That's why you can actually ask your boss or your uh, managers or HR supervisors if you can use your leaves so that you can have three days during the weekday. So this is some of the plan of attack that you can actually use. No, So, so uh, if you have vacation leaves, if there are some different companies will have different uh, structure when it comes to their leaves. Okay. So you can ask all the leaves that you have in the year, schedule it in some of the weekdays so that you will have mo, uh, a longer weekend, okay? So hindi lang Sabado, Linggo yung weekend mo, pwede mo schedule ng Friday yun o kaya Monday para mas mahaba yung time ng review mo. Or if you'll be doing a, a, a live review session with us, you can actually schedule those, those leaves during the days that you have a review in our review program, okay? And also, you avoid working overtime, okay? If you are working overtime, there's actually a problem in productivity and the problem in the way that your organization is actually uh, structuring your employees. So avoid doing overtime so that you will have more time when you go home to study, at least one hour. Because most of the time, employees will extend uh, over time, about one or two hours, so sayang yung oras, di ba? Hindi kayo makapag-aral. And you need to assert yourself so that you can prioritize your review. If you will not assert yourself, if you will not inform other people, if you will not tell them that, okay, I will prioritize my review, hindi ako mag-overtime, mag please, be considerate in my concern, I will be doing my, my review. This is also for this company, if you believe that I will be able to contribute in this company by being a licensed professional, then definitely you need to you need to support me in this, okay? So you need to be assertive, okay? Employees are actually, one of the good qualities of employees is being assertive, okay? So you may want to take that into consideration, okay? Now, the most important thing in this plan of attack, and later on I will show you how to schedule things, but 
walang kwenta yung pag schedule ng mga bagay-bagay if you will not do execution and accountability. Okay? May schedule ka nga, may planner ka nga, nandun nga lahat ng mga gagawin mo, nandun lahat ng listahan ng topics na aaralin mo, pero hindi mo naman ginagawa. You are not executing the schedule that you create. Another one is you are not accountable to anyone. That's why execution is not happening because no one is monitoring you. And that's the important thing in doing this schedule, in planning your review schedule. Someone needs to monitor you. Someone needs to pat you in the back and tell you that, hey, are you doing your review? Hey, do you have any concerns in doing this process? How can we help? What can we do? Okay, so this is about accountability, and that's why in the in the previous sessions, I always I'm always highlighting the aspect of accountability, so that you can execute your review schedules perfectly. Okay, now how do we do this? Um, you know that we have a free Facebook group, right? We have a free support group in the Facebook, wherein almost 600 plus students are are, are actually members already there. And uh, what I will be doing in the following weeks is I will post a daily log, a daily log post in that page wherein you can write in that daily log or you can comment on that daily log post. For example, you're done with this topic, you just write, okay? Okay, I did reviewing on psychodynamic theories. I read Freud. That's it. You just comment. Okay. Or for example, I read about real reliability. You just post there. At least the other people in the Facebook group will also see what you are doing. And over time, when we're doing this over and over again, people will actually notice people who are really doing their review. And if somehow on certain days you will not see you posting there, then we will know which students are not following through the process and probably will be able to talk to them, okay? Accountability is very important. We need to monitor each other so that we can execute your review, okay? So uh, here at Spark, I will be your coach. I'll be doing some monitoring on you guys. I will be doing some follow-up on you guys. Hopefully, even after these free coaching sessions, you will be with me with this. I will be with you also in this, okay? There are some very affordable upgrade plans here at Spark that we can do this, okay? That's why I'm highlighting this very well because I know for a fact I've seen this thousands of times since 2013. If you just leave the students by themselves, they will procrastinate. If you will leave the students by themselves, they will not follow through their schedules. There's got to be a way, there's got to be a process on how to do this. That's why I'm highlighting this. Accountability and ex execution is very important with you guys. Okay? Now, also, you're familiar with Pygmalion effect, right? It's how people expect another person to perform, and that's why they tend to become what the other people expect them to be. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay? And uh, you can actually use this principle in a positive way okay so don't use pygmalion effect in a way that's negative like hey the people expects me to fail so probably i will fail no that's not the, the <laughs> that's not the useful way to do this the useful uh the useful way to do this is to use it positively and one way is to use social media to your advantage a while ago i told you already that you can actually join our free support group, our Facebook group, so that uh, you can use social media to your advantage. Another one is you can actually declare to other people what are your plans, okay? I know people who are doing this, especially in the business sector, those entrepreneurs, they're declaring their goals. They're declaring their the, the target numbers that they want to happen. Some students that we have in the past, they also declare in their social media, in their Twitter accounts, that they will pass the board exam. I, I'm planning to do this. Or for example, I will read this difficult topic for three days. Watch me. So they have those kinds of declarations because it lets the other people see what you are doing 
And because you declared it, you are actually obliged to follow it because the other people are expecting you to do that. Okay? So probably you may want to take that advantage to take that Pygmalion effect on a positive way in your review right now. Okay? So I'm giving you some tips. I'm giving you some plan of attack that you may want to reflect tonight. And another one is this. Some students are asking me, Sir, ano ba mas maganda? I-marathon namin yung review? O parang soap opera? Pag soap opera, ang style, 30 minutes to 1 hour per day. Remember, if you're watching Provinciano or some of the soap opera on the TV, diba? 1 hour, 30 minutes, that's good already. Pero yung iba, yung mga addict sa K-drama, they're doing marathon for not just 8 hours but even 16 hours, 24 hours. So what's the what's advisable way to do your review? Me, my, my suggestion is you do your review in a soap opera way. At least 30 minutes to 1 hour. Okay? Because, one, you need to absorb a very complex information. Okay? The things that you will be reviewing are not that easy to grasp. Okay? So you need to, you need to really schedule that in a small, bite-sized chunks of topics. Okay? 30 minutes to 1 hour is already a good uh, uh, spacing or scheduling. Later on, the 200-day the template that I will show you is actually uh, scheduled in a one hour per day. Okay? And then also, aside from the topics are complex, you need to also have re a, a rest. No? You need to rest your, your mind, your brain, okay? so that you can fully absorb this. And especially if you are a working person, you can't really do a marathon thing. Okay? You'll probably uh, just have one or two hours per day that's free. Okay, so that's why I'm suggesting you to do the soap opera thing and start doing your review now. Uh, some people are actually cannot move forward because they feel that okay, I I have lots of things to study. I mean, kulang yung isang buong araw para mag-aral. Okay, eh yun ang problema. Hindi mo naman kailangang tapusin sa isang araw o sa dalawang araw o sa tatlong araw yung review mo. Kaya nga ako, ang, ang papakita ko sa inyo mamaya, 200 days, 100 day, kasi you need to have more days to your advantage so that you can review, uh, hindi yung cramming ang style ng review mo, okay? So, uh, so that's my suggestion. And then, there are other things that you can ponder upon later tonight. For example, in multitasking, my suggestion is you don't multitask because if you multitask, there's just distraction around. Okay, the idea with, with multitasking is actually flawed. Okay, don't believe in multitasking. You just do one task at a time. Okay, if you will do your review now, if you schedule your review uh, 8 p.m. every day, or you schedule your review 6 in the morning, okay, you focus only in doing your review. No Facebook, no cell phone. No other things, not e not even eating, okay? So you eat your breakfast before doing your review, if that's your schedule. Or you eat your dinner already, then you do your review, okay? You don't multitask. Because multitasking is just a glorified distraction, okay? It doesn't work. And it results to poor performance according to research, okay? So don't do multitasking when you're doing your review. You have a laser sharp focus, okay? And actually, we have a session on that laser sharp focus during the, the later coaching sessions that I will be doing with you guys. If you will be joining our review program, I have a special coaching session on how to maintain your focus and remove all your distractions to maintain your focus and concentration in doing your review, okay? The... the the, the cheapest plan, the most affordable plan is our starter plan. That's just 1,000 pesos. It includes all the 25 coaching sessions already. And we also included a, a grand lecture series access on you guys. That's four days. So that's just for 1,000. So if you want to join me in, in this journey, if you want me to be the person to monitor you, to help you, to guide you, to follow up on you every week, then this is the most affordable plan that you can get okay, for the coaching session. If, you're, if you find this 
webinar very helpful for you guys grab some of our upgrades i will definitely make it very very worthwhile for you guys so that you will be moving forward in your uh, review for the board exam here are some of the questions also to ponder tonight do i have my materials already okay so so uh, matapang kayo mag schedule kayo ng review pero meron ba kayo talaga mga review materials na arrange yun na ba sila na organize yun na ba sila okay of course you have your review uh, you have your review videos already you have your uh, free review here at spark so you have your videos already but the other materials are also important okay do i need to read the books cover to cover or uh, i glance ko lang yung mga importante para sa akin so it's up to you it depends on your learning needs the the template that i will show you later on is a more complete template okay but you can customize it and i will show you how to customize it uh later on and then do do i have practice exams by the way so uh you the practice exams can come from a review center the practice exam can also come online if you can search some of the practice exams online you can also do that am i okay with the group study do i need to be in a group study or should i do this on a self-review kind of way in a self-paced mode do i need a review program can i can i do this alone these are things that you need to ponder because these are part of your review planning okay before you can even schedule the topics you need to know the plans that you will do for the rest of the months that that will come and these are very important question okay do you need to do this on the do it yourself I mean you will just search all the materials that you can gather online or you can join a review program where in everything is uh, provided to you already a coach is guiding you on this and you are really sure that you are on track on what you want to do and you what you you should do for this review okay do i even have a conducive place to study this is also a very important uh, question do i need to be in a in a, in a coffee shop or pwede ako sa kwarto ko lang Kung sa bahay kayo magre-review, are there distractions that can grab your attention and not have that focus during the review? O po pwede mo pakiusapan yung mga tao sa paligid mo during certain times of day? Like for example, kung plano mo mag-review every 9 p.m., 9 ng gabi, so you can talk to members of your family na, hey, I need to have some quiet time during 9 uh etc etc those are practical questions that you need to ask for yourself uh to yourself right now because uh these are part of review planning you need to plan your review and these are some of the things that most of the students are not thinking that these are important but when you're doing your review these are the things that actually happen okay uh, do I know the application process in PRZ? We're in PRZ will release certain guidelines later on as well. You can actually schedule that later on. And by the way, you need to know the documents that you will get in PRC and make sure that your school can release them on time. Because if you will be planning the review, you also need to include in the plan your PRC application process. And as early as now, check the documents that you need for applying in PRC and ask your school if you will have some problems getting them. Kasi may mga ibang students tayo in the past, hindi sila nakakapag-board exam kasi hindi nila makuha agad yung documents sa school. For some weird reason, their school have some problems with the documents. They cannot release that. So sayang naman, nag-schedule ka na ng review lahat, hindi mo, naman, hindi mo alam na later on, problema ka pala sa documents mo. So you need to ask yourself about this later tonight. And then uh, lastly, but also equally important is, how will you adjust in the following months, given that you will be doing your review, you will be studying lots of things, there will be changes in your schedule, how will you adjust with your life? How will you have that balance 
so that you will not be stressed out, you will still be enthusiastic, happy, and really getting things done because you're not stressed. You're, you, you find balance and fulfillment in what you do. So how will you adjust your life right now given the following months, the following weeks will be really heavy because you will be studying at least one hour or two hours every day. So these are valid questions that you need to ask yourself tonight. Okay, uh, I'll try to make this uh, PowerPoint or this slide available in the student portal so that you can have a copy of these questions and also the template that I will show you in a little moment. Okay, so scheduling when it comes to scheduling this is the technique okay i will show you a step-by-step -step technique on how to do your scheduling and then we will transition in the template that i'm telling you a while ago so let's do this so first of course you need to have a calendar at least with you either a digital calendar or a planner or a big calendar with you or any list of tasks or things that you will do for the following months and then number two, you block all the days and dates that you are not available. Of course, if you're not available, even just one hour or two hours, there are days that you are really not available. For example, if you will be doing vacation, or for example, if, if that day is your birthday and you already plan something for your birthday, then definitely you cannot include the review because there will be just distraction. There's a lot of happenings along the way. So just skip that. You just miss that day. So as early as now, you block all the days and dates that you know you're not available. For example, if you know that every Saturday you cannot really be available because uh, you have some church commitment, for example. So uh, definitely you will just block that and you will not include that in the list of dates wherein you are available. Now, number three, count the number of days you are available starting today until September 30. Now, why I'm putting September 30 as a date or a marker? Okay. Now, September 30 is somewhere around one month before the board exam. Okay. Because the board exam is October 27 and 28, right? So definitely, by September 30, dapat tapos nyo nang basahin at panoorin lahat ng videos, lahat ng libro na kailangan nyo aralin. Ibig sabihin, pagdating na September 30, dapat practice na lang kayo ng practice ng exam. Dapat nga, even before September 30, you are already practicing your exams uh, on a regular basis, okay? And then after September 30, by October, dapat targeted na yung mga inaaral nyo based sa result ng mga exams, okay? That's why you don't include the days in the October in this review scheduling because uh, you, you want to finish all those topics that you need to study, you need to review, you need to read, you need to, to watch in the video, even before October. Kung kaya nyo mas, matapos siya na mas maaga, much better. So that you will have more time in a, in a practicing exam. Okay? So bilangin nyo kung ilang araw mula ngayon or kung mag-start kayo ng April 15. Diba? Mag-start kayo next week pa in doing your review. You count the number of days. Okay? Now, if you saw, for example, uh, let me see this. Uh, I'll, I'll just transition to uh, this slide okay so are you seeing my uh, are you seeing an excel file right now so ito january 14 tomorrow so kung bibilangin natin yan kung ilang araw yan so that's uh tingnan nyo ah september 30 is 260th day nakita nyo are you seeing this so, September 30 is 260 days starting tomorrow. April uh, 14, see? Ay, January 14, by the way. January 14 all the way to September 30. That's 260 days. 
So, ganun lang kabilis, no? You have 260 days. Now, given that you know that you have 260 days, if you will be starting tomorrow, now, you need to uh, check the table of contents of your book. Remember, a while ago, uh, I told you about that. You check the table of contents, for example, this one. Diba? If you, do, if you have a, a digital copy, much better. But if you don't have a digital copy, you just type it. So you just copy this. For example, if you have a digital copy, you can copy all of this. Diba? So you, what you want to happen is to have a list of schedule, uh, a list of topics. So ang mangyayari, parang ganito siya. So uh, I'll just uh, copy and then I'll show you a new slide, uh, a new Excel file here. And then I will paste. So here are the topics that you will study. Right? So theories of personality ito. Now you have a list of topics, then you will... Sabi ko kanina, you need to check how confident are you in these topics. For example, in Freud's psychoanalysis, ano ba ako? Confident pa ako dito? Hindi, marami kasing concept to eh. Siguro, 1 to 10, siguro ang confidence ko lang dito, mga 6 lang or 7. So, I'll assign 2 days of reading. Kay Adler. Sino ba si Adler? Ako, yun ang problema. Nakalimutan mo na kung sino si Adler. So, maybe you can assign also 2 days. Si Yung, oh, medyo alam ko yan, si Yung. Kilala ko yan, kaya lang, ang dami niyang concepts, ang dami niyang terminologies. Siguro, I'll assign also two. Si Klein, oh, kaya yan kasi maikli lang yung si Klein. So, uh, maybe one day is enough. Hornay, one day is enough. Si From, siguro, two days. Sino nga ba si From? Nakalimutan ko na. So, yeah. so probably, ganun yung... Ganun yung uh, the thought process that's happening to you guys. So you you can uh, you list down the topics as you can see right now and the days that you will do your review here okay and so on and so forth okay and you will also do this with uh, IO psychology for example if you have if you have a book in IO especially uh AMOT diba? most of the time ang suggested book is um, industrial organizational psychology by AMOT uh, you check the table of contents, you type the topics, the major topics in the table of contents in this Excel file, and then you assign the number of days that you feel you need to do your review for uh, these uh, topics, okay? Now, ang mangyayari niyan, you will have a list of topics such as this. So, this is the 200-day plan that I'm, I'm telling you about a while ago. So I'll just uh I'll just zoom this so that you can see this clearly. Makita nyo. So for example, uh uh we have here read TOP by uh, Freud psychoanalysis day 1 2 3 because I assigned 3 days there. Okay? Or for example, kay Adler, I assigned 3 days. So most of this in the in the 200 day plan Take to take the three days most of the topics, okay? Nakikita nyo? So you can actually do the same thing depending on your needs. So in the 200-day plan that I will share to you later on, these are more generic. I mean, it covers all the topics. As you can see in the ab site, nakita nyo? We have read models of abnormal uh, abnormality. You read clinical assessment. You need to read uh, about anxiety. You can assign three days. Okay. The this one, the two hundred day plan is patterned on uh, on the books of Feist for theories of personality, the book of Ronald Comer in abnormal psychology, and then uh, Cohen and Swerdlick for uh, psych assessment. And then, uh, kay Michael Amod ng IO Psychology, okay? Ang ginawa ko dyan, I just copied all the table of contents topics. And then, ginawa ko nga yung katulad nito, yung sa Excel file. I uh, copy-pasted it here. And then, I assigned how many days I want to do that. And then, some tinkering and some copy-pasting. And I was able to, to do this, Okay? So sa inyo, depende yun. Kung, kung, if you will be using the 200-day plan, it's okay. 
But if you want to customize how to do this, then I, I showed you already how to do that. Okay? So, ano siya, di ba? Okay, I mean, you were able to have your learning needs assessment, transform those needs into the number of days that you will be doing your review for each of the topic in your book, and then you have the tasks. Okay? Now, a couple of things. In the... In the 200-day plan template, nakita nyo, there are watch videos here. These are aligned to the free videos that you have here at Spark. So, uh, itong 200-day template na ito are aligned to the free review program that we have. There are videos there. And these are good for one hour. The tasks here that you are seeing are all one hour each. So every day you ang commitment nyo lang is one hour. Okay? You don't need to read the whole chapter of Carl Jung in a day or you read all the psychodynamic theories in a day in day. You just need one hour. And that one hour per day is enough for you to digest a lot of things, okay? Even if you are a slow reader, okay, hindi kayo mabilis magbasa, you can actually manage this kind of review. But the thing is you need to start your review ASAP, okay? Kasi if you will not, if you will be starting your review on a later date, and you will not be doing this 200-day plan, but instead you will do the 100-day plan, kita niyo yung difference. Pag tinig niyo itong 100-day plan, the task is already done on the average of 2 hours. You need to do your task 2 hours each, each day. And then as you can see, there are things that are merged. For example, watching videos for Jung and Adler is merged on one day. So you need to watch two videos already. The watching of videos with Klein, uh, 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 Hornay, Sullivan, and even the reading of books or the topics for Klein, Hornay, from is already merged in one day. And that's also true with the other topics for the rest of the subjects. Kung makikita nyo, ang clinical assessment sa absite, two days for the 100-day plan. Pero sa 200-day plan, ang clinical assessment ninyo, kapin natin ha, uh, it's also two days. But you still have a watching day, an another day to watch the videos. Yung anxiety disorder nyo sa 200-day plan, it's three days. Very manageable. Pero sa 100-day plan, ang anxiety disorder, sa araw lang. You need to squeeze in all the things to read. You need to read lots of things in a day. But still, it's just 2 hours or probably 3 hours. Some of you are actually doing the marathon of review. So you know that that's, this is still manageable, okay? If you're watching this video on a replay, if you're watching this video on a later date, probably you will be using the 100-day plan. As you can see, the 100-day plan is still manageable, okay? But if you can do your review more than 200 days, then much better. Kasi mas, maha, mas marami kayo time to read, to watch, and to really digest all the topics. You can see, kompleto to. Hanggang assessment, naka-layout na lahat ng babasahin nyo, Pati yung papanoorin nyo, kita nyo, watch process of assessment, day 1. Watch the process of assessment, day 2. And the process of assessment video that we have here at Spark is 2 hours. So it's divided in day 1 and day 2. Okay, sorry. Na, na ano ko siya. Okay, so, see? All the way down to day 200. So you can have this 200-day uh, uh, plan. I will, I will post the link of this in the student portal so that you can download this Excel file, this uh, spreadsheet, and you can customize it to yourself. For example, how to customize this 200-day uh, plan. You can copy, you can copy paste this, for example, this one. Oh, alibaba, yan. And then you feel that you don't need three days in Freud. You don't need two days, uh, you don't need three days in studying Freud at all. So you can just delete that and uh, reorganize the, the 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 review topics okay so that's how you do or you schedule your review okay hindi po pwedeng okay uh, magre-review ko kay Freud then after doon magre-review ko kay ganito ganito ganyan 
hindi naka-layout kung anong araw at gaano karami. Gaano karaming araw. So, dapat alam ninyo gaano kayo katagal magre-review para sa isang topics. Sa isang topic, okay? And kung gaano katagal kayo magre-review is based on your learning needs assessment because you were able to browse the table of contents of the book, you were able to browse the glossary of your books, and you know which topic you need to focus on. And then, as sabi ko nga sa inyo, katulad niya, you assign the number of days for each of the topics such as this, and just uh, edit all those all those things in this kind of format. Or you can just download this 200-day uh, plan or 100-day plan. Sir, pa paano kung dumating ako dito sa review na ito, two months or three months before na lang, sir, I was able to watch this, the replay of this video, and I'm just three months away the board exam. Nako, malaking, malaking problema yan, malaking challenge yan, kasi magka-cram ka na, mag-squeeze in mo na lahat ng aaralin mo. Definitely, you need to assign not just one or two hours a day. Probably, you need to assign four, day, four, four hours per day for that. And I have the, here a 60-day cram session. If you just came in here and you were able to watch this video on a replay and you're just three months or even four months away the, uh, away board exam, this is the task that you will do on a daily basis. And this is a direct copy-paste of all the table of contents for each of the book. So sa day one, kailangan tapusin mo lahat yung kay Freud. Lahat ng video watching, lahat ng uh, pagbabasa sa libro, tapusin mo pati yung mga handouts, basahin mo lahat. And definitely, you will be spending up, up, on an average 4 hours for this. If, tapos kinabukasan si Adler naman. Kinabukasan si Jung. The next day, si Klein, si Horna, at si From. Kasi maiikli lang naman yung topic nila kasha sa isang araw. Susunod naman si Sullivan. Meron din kaming video for Sullivan. And then you read the, the, the book. That's on day 5. Hanggang sa matapos mo siya. Hanggang sa pagdating mo ng assessment. Reliability, isang araw lang. Validity, isang araw lang. Etc. Etc. All the way to the day 60. This is a 60-day cram session. Okay? Uh, still doable, but I'm always advocating for you to start your review as early as possible. Okay? That's why I provided you a 200-day plan. And this is doable starting now. If you are watching this video this January, I did this video just this January. January 13 to be exact. So this 200-day plan is doable for you. Okay? So tomorrow or tonight, start start doing the process. Start doing the process of scheduling. Huh? So ganito gagawin natin. You, you get a planner, block all the dates that you are not available, tapos bilangin mo ilang araw ang meron up to September 30. Tapos check mo yung table of contents ng libro. Check mo alin dyan ng mahirap, alin dyan ng madali, alin dyan ang kailangan mo ng 3 days na magbabasa ka, alin dyan ang 2 days lang or 1 day lang, alin dyan yung mga topics na pwede kong emerge sa isang araw. Okay? And then assign the number of hours per day. For example, 1, day ka, one hour ka mag-aaral per day or 2 hours per day. Or if you want an easy way to do this, you can just download this topic template that I have shown you this 200 day plan and you can just customize it by deleting some of the, for example if you don't need three days in Freud you just delete that or if you need to have additional date with Adler you just add here so ganun yung gagawin ninyo now if you have the list already of all the topics that you will do of course uh, what you will do is you will assign a day for each of the topics, okay? So, for example, kailan ko kaya gagawin tong uh, one-page career plan? Uh, mamayang gabi, nagawa ko na yan. So, I will write April 13. Kailan ko kaya gagawin yung professional conduct in psychology? Uh, bukas yan. Kailan? Araw-araw ako nag-review. April 14. Kailan kaya itong susunod? April 15. Kailan kaya yung susunod? Ay, hindi ako pwede sa 16 eh. Meron kaming company outing. Sa April 19 na ang balik ko. So, April 19 yung susunod. So, that's how you do your uh, review planning. Okay? 
So identify first your needs, check the table of contents, copy or write all those topics in table of contents in an Excel file, assign how many days you need to focus on them, and each day is one hour or two hours depending on your needs, and then align that to the schedules that you are available. Okay? Ganun ang pagpaplano ng schedule. You need to do this. Okay? So, I will let you download this 200-day plan or 100-day plan uh, so that you can just copy-paste that if you need to, to make things faster. But you can also customize uh, or follow the process so that you will have uh, your own custom uh, schedule, okay? So, that's how you do it, okay? So, uh, we're finished with this. Now, lastly... And we're actually on the final leg of our session is you need to also integrate the schedule of your review program. If you are here at Spark and you intend to upgrade in any of our review plans, uh, you need to also integrate the schedule of your review center. Most of the time, review centers will also have other activities and of course the mock exams in particular. So you need to check whether... Are there mock exams that will be given? How many mock exams? Why is that important for you to know? Because the mock exams will also, you need to invest time on doing the mock exam. You cannot just do the mock exam one day. The board exam is actually just two exams per day. Diba? So definitely, you want to simulate the length of time you doing the mock exams and to simulate it during your review, during your reviewing, okay? So you need to know how many mock exams do I practice? So if you are here at Spark doing the free review, you have two mock exams. That's a very gracious uh, offering for you guys in the free review. You have two mock exams. And if you upgrade in some of our uh, uh, upgrade plans, you will get uh, up to six mock exams. So if you have six mock exams to practice, then it will consume time also. So, kailangan i-insert nyo rin siya sa schedule nyo. Okay? Kailan kaya yung mga mock exams maging available? Are there even practice quizzes that I can include in, uh, in my schedule? Kasi some of the students don't want to include practicing question while reading. Gusto nila tapusin muna yung pagbabasa bago sila mag-practice ng quiz. So, ibig sabihin, kakain din ng oras yung pagpapractice ng quiz. Are there coaching sessions that are included in my review program wherein someone will guide me on how to do this, how to do that, how to be on track on my review schedule? So, for example, here at Spark, the coaching session, actually, only Spark is the one doing coaching sessions, by the way. Uh, we have one hour investment for each of the coaching sessions. For example, this one, we almost extended already uh, we're almost extending already uh, more than an hour. So uh, you may want to schedule that, especially on weekends, that you will have a coaching session. Or if you will be watching the coaching sessions on the replays, then you need to also invest at least one hour of your time to watch that videos. Okay? Are there special activities in my review program? For example, so Spark, we have some memory workshop sessions. Um, there are some uh, video watching sessions also in the Facebook group. Uh, what are those activities? Are those things uh, available for me? And do I need to structure my schedule? Is this on uh, on a repeated session? For example, ang coaching sessions as part every Sundays? Or uh, do I watch the replay every Wednesday? Depending on your schedule. So you need to integrate whatever review program activities you have in your schedule, aside from the topics a, a while ago that I've shown you, you need to also integrate this, okay? Are there even grand lecture series towards the end? Do I have some kind of a four-day session towards October na kailangan kong attendan o kailangan kong panoorin na included sa review program ko? Kasi isasama nyo rin sa schedule nyo. Hindi nyo naman po pwedeng uh, uh, isisingit nyo lang siya basta-basta. And you will not have that focus and attention. Remember, you're doing your review. You need to have a laser focus attention. That's why you are scheduling every activity that you will do so that you can execute them 
and see whether you are doing things correctly. Okay? That's why I am doing this uh, with you guys para aware kayo that these are considerations to take note. Okay? Now, if you will be uh, doing a review program and there are mock exams available, this is the typical mock exam schedule. For example, sa day one, mag-answer mag, mag ka ng TOP at upside. Take to two hours. So, four hours na yun. Diba? Then day two, magsasagot ka ng IOT Psych Assessment. Either you answer it on your own sa bahay or you attend the live review. For, for example, if you are enrolled in the live review ng Spark, then uh, probably you will have a, a schedule for each of this exam. And, and typically, our schedule is that day one, we do this two subjects. Day two, we do these two subjects. And then day three, we will have a feedback of the scores. And then we have, uh, we have a special activity actually to really target the difficult topics. Then that's the time we move forward to the rationalization of the TOP and AbSight. And then day four, Two subjects already, also, rationalization, IELTS psych assessment. Now, the rationalization, either it's a video or you attend the live review, but it consumes four hours, okay? So if you will be watching the video or you will be attending the live rationalization of the answers, rationalization is the discussion of the answers and the reason why they are the answers. So sa Spark, in-explain namin isa-isa yung mga items. Kung bakit yun ang sagot, bakit hindi yan, anong test taking strategy for that. It consumes 4, 4 hours per each of the subject, kaya datig dalawang araw ulit sila. So imagine sa day 3, 8 hours ang kakainin yan. Sa day 4, 8 hours also. So if you will be scheduling your mock exam, either as a self-paced reviewee, kung nagdi-distance learning program ka, you need to schedule it very well. Kasi mahirap yung mawawala ka sa momentum, yung mapuputol yung papanon, panonood mo ng video or mapuputol yung pag-exam mo. Dapat the, the, the mock exam will be answered in one sitting. TOP, one sitting, tapos yan. Upsight, one sitting, tapos yan. That's the day one. Then kinabukasan, IO, one sitting, tapos. Site assessment, one sitting, answer it, tapos. Hindi siya po pwedeng okay, kalahati ng TOP, sakot ang umamay umaga, kalahati sa gabi. Hindi pwede kasi mock exam should be should simulate at least the the duration of you answering a certain exam. Okay? Para ma-practice yung speed and yung uh, momentum nyo sa pagsasagot. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a consideration on how to schedule this. Uh, you, you cannot just squeeze in the mock exam as if para ka lang nagsagot ng kokology o nagsagot ka lang ng Facebook survey. Hindi eh. The mock exam, the answering of mock exam should be scheduled very well because it's part of the process. It's part of your review process, okay? And then you you also need to have a day five wherein you go back to the books. So our suggestion with the student is, okay, ang gagawin natin, pag nasagutan na natin yung mock exam, yung mga mali nating sagot, yun ang babalikan natin sa, sa libro. Hindi po pwedeng papabayaan lang natin yan. Mas malaman ko lang na, okay, ang sagot sa, num sa number 27 ay letter A. Okay, alam ko na yan. Hindi, hindi pwedeng ganun. Kailangan, babalik kayo sa libro, babasahin niyo yung mga maling sagot ninyo para the next mock exam, you will be able to confidently answer it and you know the answers uh, very well. Okay? So may proseso yung mock exam and you need to take that into consideration if you are doing your schedule. Okay? So, uh, I'm telling you this because I need you to be aware that these are also part of your review process. Okay? And if you will be planning your review, you need to take this into consideration. Okay? Now, you can actually start everything as up. Okay? All the things that we're talking about a while ago is doable right now. Okay? Right now, as in now. If you are in the review program, in our free review program, the basic package is actually free. And the 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 two hundred day plan, as you can see right now, ito. the two hundred day plan, etong nakalagay na watch this or watch TOP, watch psychodynamic, watch Carlyon, watch Adler, all the things that are written here as watch list. They are available in the student portal. Okay, there are actual titles, there are actual videos in the student portal. So, naka-align na yung 200-day plan dun sa mga 
materials and videos na nasa student portal natin. So, ibig sabihin, this 200-day plan is doable right now. You can actually start doing this. You can actually start doing your review. And then later on, if you want to upgrade in any of our programs such as this, if you want to continue this coaching sessions, if you find these coaching sessions very useful, and I, I've, I've received a lot of emails already and even some private Facebook messages that they, they really appreciate. By the way, thank you guys. If you are watching right now and you are avidly watching this, uh, I want to thank you for supporting these sessions and also for uh, giving yourself uh, 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 adjust this on doing this review, okay? Uh, you need some guidance. That's why we're doing this. If you really love this coaching sessions, if you really find value in this, I want to work with you guys continuously all the way to October. And the cheapest, most affordable plan is the 1,000 plan that we have. That's a starter plan. It will include the coaching sessions, the 25 coaching sessions that I'm talking about a while ago. It, can, it even includes a, a, a webinar series of the grand lecture that we'll be doing on October. The Most of the other review centers, they're doing the final coaching, the grand final coaching. They even, they even borrowed our terminologist grand lecture. Uh, anyway, they, they're, they're offering it at somewhere around 3,000 to 7,000 pesos. Pero sa Spark, you just need 1,000 for that. And you can watch that live so that's a very very affordable price point if you are a retaker and you don't want to spend so much but you want this coaching session you want some guidance from me as your coach then this is the cheapest most affordable plan but of course priceless when it comes to guidance and value okay now if you want to have the books we're creating a book and next week i'll show you how the book looks like okay and you will be mind blown by it okay it's the best review book ever that you can find here in the philippines and this is available as an ebook format as 3700 pesos very very affordable price point and i will add another mock exam remember your free review have two mock exams already included but i will add another mock exam so you have three mock exams already and the ebook version of the review book that we are creating for the price of 3700 This is the essentials plan that we have. This is the, the, the most economical and smart way of doing your review at a very affordable price. It's just 3700 And I will be able to guide you in those coaching sessions and I will be able to give you the ebooks that you can use even with the 200-day plan or even with the 100-day plan task that you will do. This will be very useful for you. But if you will be, if you really want all in the full distance learning program that we have, that's 9,000 pesos. I'll be sending you the hard copy of our books, the hard copy of our handouts, the hard copy of our mock exams. And by the way, if you upgrade in the distance learning program, Sa essentials plan, kasi tatlong mock exam lang. Sa distance learning program, anim. Anim na mock exam. Six mock exams, complete with answers, complete with an answer keys, and the rationalization. I will send you the hard copy of our books. I will also send you the hard copy of our Top Notch Secrets book. It's only available in the distance learning program, by the way. Okay? And you will also be receiving all the ebooks you will also receive uh, a lifetime career coaching with me so after you pass the board exam you can still have me as your career coach we will transition you from 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 the from the review program going towards to your career coaching and you can attend our grand lecture series on october as well and that's for nine thousand. okay now if you want to join our live review you just upgrade up to 14,000 pesos. That's 14,000 pesos and you will attend our live review. Also, inclusive of all the review materials just like in the battle plan that you saw a while ago. So you have different price points to upgrade. 
You have different review programs to choose from to integrate in your review schedule. Remember, doing your self-review is the norm, right? But uh, the guidance of a review center, you cannot really argue that this will be helpful to you guys. I really suggest that at least you, you go with our starter plan. If, uh, if resources is not yet there, you can just continue with our coaching program so that I can monitor you all the way down to October so that you can execute your schedule. Remember the schedule that you're doing a while ago? We need to monitor that if you're doing that correctly, if you're executing that correctly. The most affordable price point is just 1000 This is the, the essentials plan. That's just 3700 inclusive of the ebook that you need. Okay, Or you can upgrade all the way to our distance learning program. That's 9000 pesos. Spark is the one who invented the distance learning program for psychometrician. We're doing this since 2013 and 2014. Okay? We're the first one to do this. So we know how the process works. Okay? And you will not see this process in any review center at all. That's why it's good. If you're, if you're here in our review program already, you're in the good hands. I tell you this. You're in the good hands. And I will do my best as your coach to help you execute your review schedule. Okay? So remember guys, balik natin dito. Balik tayo dito sa, sa steps, okay? So remember to do this, ha? Tonight or tomorrow, have a calendar. Block all the days that you're not available. Count the number of days that you're available up to September 30, 2019. If that's uh, more than 100, more than 150, then you can do the 200-day plan. Then browse your table of contents. And the glossary, check the topics that you're comfortable, you're not comfortable, you're confident, how many days you will assign to those topics. Then you, you copy-paste that in an Excel file such as this. Assign the number of days you will do the review. You just double this so that you can have uh, the exact list that appears like this. Okay? Or you can just download this in our student portal. I will be putting the link of this. I will share this spreadsheet in our student portal in a little while so that you can download this, customize this, so that you can start your review ASAP. Okay? And then, lastly, you need to declare in the world that you are reviewing. Remember a while ago, one of the plan of attacks is you tell the people around you that you are reviewing okay it works it works like magic they will be considerate to you they will uh, they, they you can you can uh, maximize the effect of the pygmalion effect to your advantage and then we will have we will post a daily log in the facebook groups that we have so if you're if you're not yet member of this of that facebook group we have a link up there I think in the menu part of the student portal, we have, uh, we have a link in the Facebook group. Every day starting tomorrow, I will post a daily log there so that people will be commenting on that daily log, what they did. And I will check that every day and see whether people are actually doing the review. Okay? And other people will also see if you're really doing your review or not. Okay? That's how we can monitor and be accountable to each other. Okay? So let's do this. If you love this webinar session, just post in the Facebook group that you attended this. And uh, always remember to do your review every day. Do this now or do this tomorrow. Assign a day wherein you will do your review planning and scheduling. It's important to do your review every day. That's why I'm doing this webinar coaching with you guys so that you can move forward in your review, okay? And if you find these coaching sessions very valuable, I hope you can we can join each other still in the other review programs that we have. You can, uh, you can join our distance learning program. You can join our essentials plan or as simple as joining our starter plan so I can still coach you all the way to October for your board exam, okay? So that's our session for review planning and scheduling. I hope you find this very, very useful. 
And hopefully I can see you again in the next coaching sessions. And I will still be emailing you for, uh, for a couple of days so that we can still follow up on your review. So uh, that's it. So uh, have a good day, everyone. So remember, guys, to do this, huh? You you just uh, hindi po yung pinanood nyo lang to tapos walang kaya gagawin, okay? Pagkatapos yung panoorin to, try to do the things that I told you already to do, okay? Now, let's do it. This the, the the steps, okay? So do it now, and see you guys on the next coaching session.